the Okavango Delta, or Okavango Grassland, formerly spelled Okovango or Okovango, in Botswana is a very large, swampy inland delta formed where the Okavango River reaches a tectonic trough in the central part of the Ender Hike Basin of the Kalahari. All the water reaching the delta is ultimately evaporated and transpired, and does not flow into any sea or ocean. Each year, about 11 cubic kilometers, 2.6 cu me, of water spread over the 6,000 to 15,000 km2, 2,300 to 5,800 sq me, area. Some flood waters drain into Lake Engamai. The area was once part of Lake Makatekadai, an ancient lake that mostly dried up by the early Holocene. The Mormi Game Reserve, a national park, is on the eastern side of the delta. The delta was named as one of the seven natural wonders of Africa, which were officially declared on February 11, 2013, in Arusha, Tanzania. On June 22, 2014, the Okavango Delta became the 1,000th site to be officially inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List. The Okavango is produced by seasonal flooding. The Okavango River drains the summer, January, February, rainfall from the Angola Highlands and the surge flows 1,200 km 750 miles in around one month. The waters then spread over the 250 by 150 km 155 by 93 miles area of the delta over the next four months, March, June. The high temperature of the delta causes rapid transpiration and evaporation, resulting in a cycle of rising and falling water level that was not fully understood until the early 20th century. The flood peaks between June and August, during Botswana's dry winter months, when the delta swells to three times its permanent size, attracting animals from kilometers around and creating one of Africa's greatest concentrations of wildlife. Every year, about 11 cubic kilometers, 11,000 billion L, 2.6 cu me, 2,900 billion US gal, of water flow into the delta. Roughly 60% is consumed through transpiration by plants, 36% by evaporation, 2% percolates into the aquifer system, and 2% flows into Lake Engamai. This turgid outflow means that the delta is unable to flush out the minerals carried by the river and is liable to become increasingly salty and uninhabitable. Water salinity is reduced by salt collecting around plant roots as most of the incoming water is transpired by plants. Peat fires might contribute to deposit salt into layers below the surface. The low salinity of the water also means that the floods do not greatly enrich the floodplain with nutrients. The Okavango Delta is both a permanent and seasonal home to a wide variety of wildlife which is now a popular tourist attraction. Species include the African bush elephant, African buffalo, hippopotamus, lequi, tsesebe, citadunga, blue wildebeest, South African giraffe, Nile crocodile, lion, cheetah, leopard, brown hyena, spotted hyena, springbok, greater kudu, sable antelope, impala, south central black rhinoceros, southern white rhinoceros, virtual zebra, common warthog, chakma baboon, and vervet monkey. Notably, the endangered Cape wild dog survives within the Okavango Delta, exhibiting one of the richest pack densities in Africa. The delta also includes over 400 species of birds, including African fish eagle, Pell's fishing owl, crested crane, lilac-breasted roller, hammerco, South African ostrich, and sacred ibis. The majority of the estimated 200,000 large mammals in and around the delta are not year-round residents. They leave with the summer rains to find renewed fields of grass to graze and trees to browse, then make their way back as winter approaches. Large herds of buffalo and elephant total about 30,000 beasts. Papyrus and reed rafts make up a large part of the Okavango's vegetation. During the flood season, they float well above the sandy river bed with roots dangling free in the water. This gap between bed and roots is used as shelter by crocodiles. The plants of the delta play an important role in providing cohesion for the sand. The banks or levees of a river normally have a high mud content, 
and this combines with the sand in the river's load to continuously build up the river banks. In the delta, because the clean waters of the Okavango contain almost no mud, the river's load consists almost entirely of sand. The plants capture the sand, acting as the glue and making up for the lack of mud and in the process creating further islands on which more plants can take root. This process is not important in the formation of linear islands. They are long and thin and often curved like a gently meandering river, because they are actually the natural banks of old river channels which over time have become blocked up by plant growth and sand deposition, resulting in the river changing course and the old river levees becoming islands. Due to the flatness of the delta, and the large tonnage of sand flowing into it from the Okavango River, the floor of the delta is slowly but constantly rising. Where channels are today, islands will be tomorrow and then new channels may wash away these existing islands. Oh yeah! Before I forget, hit the subscribe button below for more videos to come. YouTube will notify you our new uploaded videos. Thank you for watching.